Yeah, John, hey, what's going on? Yup, this is my boy, Unit Breeze, my favorite drone. Kidding. Um, it's nice out. I don't give up on drones too easily. This thing's been crashed more than most of my other drones. What we are going to do here, we're going to turn it on. This uh, power button has been replaced too, the innards of it. I hate you. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, get our phone out. We're going to close everything. I'm going to close everything. I'm going to deactivate uh, my Bluetooth and make sure that's turned off. Bluetooth is turned off and it connects this via Wi-Fi. And I believe we are connected. I think we're connected. Maybe. Connected. Yeah, we're connected. So we're connected. Um, we're going to turn the controller on before we start the app. Control is on. I heard something over there. Um, we're gonna go into the app. Let's see here. App, 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 which is the Breeze Cam app. And we will click next. We will click on uh, Live View. We will click on Controller. We will slide. Slide to proceed. Oh, okay. So uh, excuse my uh, <laughs> shutting everything off. You need Bluetooth for the controller, don't you? Don't come on, get with it. Um, so here we go. Settings. Bluetooth on. Back out. Go back into the app here. Um, we are going to go uh, back somehow. Quick experience now. Hold on. Control mode. Let's do it. I believe it did it. Um, let's go back. Just make sure. Back to back. Controller. Slide to proceed. Connected to the game device. Failed to connect to the game terminal. Please check your device. Retry later. So which one is it? Is it connected or not? I think it's connected. Just want me to find out, I guess. Um, I'm going to go here. And I've not calibrated it. And just to show you guys, uh, I am locked on to 17 satellites. This is the one with the optical flow sensor off. The, the, the screen of it is off. And I don't remember. Let's see. Um, start. Start, press start button for three seconds for launching. We're gonna press start button for three seconds for launching. I've not calibrated it. Again, I think the issue is that optical flow sensor. So we are gonna hit start one, three, two, one. Taking off. <laughs> Look at air, guys. I've not calibrated this. This has not been calibrated since the last crash-a-thon. And uh, that optical flow sensor underneath her, the glass is not there. On most of your drones that have optical flow sensors, even the toy grade ones, man, um, they don't have glass over it. I think that's the issue. I do have another one that my boy CT sent me. We kind of did a trade on, and uh, maybe we'll check that out. Maybe we'll do a little recording. I don't know. Let's see. Um, if we hold that, it should tell me how to record, which I'm not seeing it. Mobile phone, photo, video switch is L1. If you hold R2, it'll show you how uh, how to operate via controller. So I'm gonna hold L2. Nope. So how do I start recording? I don't know. We're gonna learn. Um, let's see. Photo, video, switch. Uh, phone cam. Talk, gimbal, tilt, emergency shutdown. I don't know. I don't know. Press start for three seconds. R1, there, R1. So, there we go. We are recording. I'm gonna give this a little fly. Little fly roo So that had to have been what it was. And I noticed that immediately after, uh, after the crash the last time, but I was unable to test it because I needed to fix my, uh, I had to fix the button because when it crashed, the inside of the button broke off. Go up and get a little scan of the sky here. A little scan of rule. I don't trust this drone, <laughs> but I have a little more faith in it. We are at uh, 68 feet high. just let it sit there for a second and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop recording I'm gonna switch over to photo mode which you no longer have stabilization in the photo you have video stabilization take a little snapshot and turn it this way take a little snapshot may turn it over to water let's see take a little snapshot and we're gonna bring it down. So there you go, guys. Um, if you are having the issue of this shooting straight up, it is probably an issue with your optical flow sensor. And it's probably an issue with that glass over it. Um, again, I have multiple drones. I have Wingsland drones, and I'm facing the wrong way. Um, I have Wingsland drones. I have uh, XK drones. I have drones that have optical flow sensors that don't have glass over it um and we'll take a picture of j drone here let's see here let's get all all up in my grill 
all up in the grill piece here. And that gimbal is moving up and down. There, we'll put it like that, let's see. I should have took a picture. So right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little fly out here. Uh, battery, I'm not sure. Battery's I think at 83 percent or something. So we're gonna again click L1 to switch to video mode, and we'll click R1 to uh, record. R2 will show you all your command prompts on your controller if you don't know them like I don't. And uh, R1 to record. Just gonna do a little fly out. Turn around. So there you go, guys. Um, I do have the other one charging. Uh, I really see no reason to fly it because, again, I figured out the issue here, as this is flying nicely. So this will kind of be a flight time test. I did just charge this battery. I did start it up because I reset my iPhone when I was away um, and I had to reconnect to this. Uh, so I made sure I was gonna be able to inside. Right now we're 162 feet away from ourselves. So this basically is a line of sight flyer. Um, it's a little more than a selfie drone, but it's not quite a GPS drone to me. It is definitely a, a line of sight flyer, a very smooth one at that. We'll, we'll post the video and I'll fully integrate this flight and whatnot uh, with the video. That way you can see the video stabilization. In 4K, there is no video stabilization uh, to my knowledge, so be aware of that. And we're just gonna get all up in its grill with the GoPro. Let's set it maybe like right there. And so, as you can see it's leaning it's leaning this way just a little bit um the wind's kind of blowing this way so was it worth all the testing i think so is this going to be a drone in my lineup i don't think so <laughs> um although i have two of them now um but as far as helping you guys out maybe this helps somebody out Maybe this absolutely helps somebody out. I'm 150 feet away. 180 and change. We're going to go ahead and turn around. So that gives you some type of distance. You're not going to get, I don't think, more than 300 feet with it. Um, I really have no need to test it because, again, this is not an Explorer GPS drone, as I've noted. gonna lift up here a little bit and yep let's see I'm trying to watch my signal here I don't even see my signal seventy six feet and I'm I've lost a uh, visual my visual is flickering here let's see if I pitch forward no oh, I got it so maybe keep it in front of me a little bit we're at 84 feet. Over 100 feet. Not bad man not bad so it can definitely get up there and get a picture that you need you're not gonna go sky high where you're gonna make everything look like ants um, but I guess for what it is I'll sign off on it so long as uh, you don't have optical flow sensor issues which that's a that's a huge error on uh, Unique's part the only other thing that I don't care for is uh, the whatchamacallit the geofence like I don't know I guess I guess we'll try to hit the geofence there 
we'll hit it, I guess. We'll go out and see how far I can go. Which is against my better judgment because I've had issues with this drone, but uh, kind of piloting via FPV here. Right there, geofence hit at 303 feet. So geofence hit at 303 feet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around here. So that's what you got. You got close to 100 meters on this, which I guess is okay. Um, if you got a case of building, you'd definitely be able to case a building with this. But uh, if you wanna go exploring like I have with the Bugs 2 or uh, the Spark, um, you're not going to be able to do this with this and I think that's a horrible horrible feature that they have and there's really no way around it that I've found out um, on the Typhoon or one of the other unique drones somebody has figured out a way out of the geofencing and uh, I wish they'd figure out a way off of this one. It does record internally so if you are eager to uh, if you're eager to get this uh, get your video off of this then you may uh, you may not want to drain the battery completely down or if you have another battery at home then you can just pop it in because uh, you don't want to draw these batteries way too down far just because then uh, it won't charge properly i also had an issue with that this thing looks like it's going to get an epic flight time um i'm at 62 percent man i'm at 62 percent which is uh nothing i'm at 61 percent geofence you cannot fly the breeze any further in that direction. Okay, well, we will, hold on, where are we at? Turn towards ourselves. We'll fly back, relax, relax. That time the geofence hit at like 280 some odd feet. I mean, I'm gonna stick with this. I don't think I've done a full flight time test on this and I think it's gonna be pretty epic. I think it is going to be pretty epic, man. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop recording. Stop recording. Um, we're just gonna let it sit there. I wanna check uh, the GoPro and see what type of time we're sitting at. We're already at 13 minutes. This thing uh, is looking to see almost a half an hour flight time. I mean, 26 minutes, we're, uh, we're at 53%. We're gonna fly it, we're gonna fly it. Yeah, so I mean, before, when I was sitting over top of this black surface, if you're new to my channel, this drone, and I mean, prior to this, I flew this, no problems. And then after a little while, I guess the glass underneath there got so smudged or whatever, over top of this dark surface, it shoots straight up and then just drop, free fall down. Um, over top of grass, it would be good and you could fly it, but once you got over top of this, it would shoot up and then free fall down. Uh, I definitely think it has to do with that optical flow sensor, uh, the glass over it. I don't know how much I want to get underneath this, but if you can see the spot underneath it there, it might even, as you can see, it just moved up. It moved up with something underneath it, which we'll, we'll try that again. We'll try that with my hand underneath it. Easy there, buddy. Why are we, low battery. Wow, that battery just dumped. Your power is low, please land a breeze. Yes, okay. Your power is low, please land a breeze. Hmm. I was showing, wow, I don't know. That was weird. Seems like my battery uh, thing just dumped. I got it down to 4% now, but it was showing like 50 some odd percent. So maybe the reading was improper on it. Um, Cause up here in the corner is what I was seeing. And that would have resulted in an epic flight time, but 15 minutes ain't bad. Uh, up in that left-hand corner, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's where it did show uh, 51%, and then I guess it just dumped. Um, but all right, we're gonna shut this off. Shut it off. I hate you, although you had a good flight today. Good boy, good boy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the controller off. Controller's off, we're gonna get out of here and just slidey slide get out of there so there you go guys um again this i think is the major culprit is underneath here 
I don't believe even this one. This one here, the bottom one, has glass over it. Uh, the new Alcenmas. The new Alcenmas have an optical flow sensor on it, and they don't have glass over it. It's a module that sticks out and the eye's exposed. So, uh... I think that's a glaring issue because as you guys saw this just flew epically uh guys i'm j drum this is uh the hated unique breeze but uh it did well today so uh stay tuned maybe for further flights with this uh maybe i'll take it out with me and actually do a video with it like i do with the spark and i have done with the parrot if you haven't subscribed guys smash that subscribe button later